Hey, it's Mark from Ripple Training. So DaVinci Resolve has an excellent color grading tool set. There's no doubt about that. But it's really the combination of that tool set along with the workflows that are built into Resolve for managing grades and nodes that allow a colorist to work quickly and efficiently. In our Warp Speed Color Grading Workflow tutorial, we go into depth about how and when to use those workflows. On today's MacBreak Studio, I'm going to share with you a tip from that tutorial that I find very useful in my own work, and that is using remote grades. If you find this useful, please subscribe and click the bell below. Let's get into it. So here's the scenario. I'm in DaVinci Resolve, I'm in the color page, and I have a timeline that includes both some interview clips and some B-roll. I've applied a grade to this first interview clip that consists of a balance node and a couple of qualifying nodes fed into a layer mixer node. And I want to apply this same grade to the other sound bites of this same individual. We see her appear several times and I'll apply this same grade to each of those because it's the same person in the same lighting conditions. Well, there's many ways to tackle this. One way is to select these other ones. I'll hold the command key down to select them specifically and then I can right click our original graded node and choose apply grade. Or I won't actually select that. A little faster way is just to center click on your mouse if you have a center scroll wheel on your mouse and we'll apply that grade to all those clips. And you can see by the thumbnails that they now have that same grade. I'm gonna press command home on a Mac in order to reset those grades. But what if you're not sure if you've selected them all? You could have a very long timeline with hundreds of clips and you're not sure you're selecting them all. Well, one way around that is through filtering. Let me deselect those clips. Up next to the Clips button is a filtering menu where you can filter by clips that you've flagged or that you've put in groups and different types of filters. But I haven't set any of that up, so that can be useful if you've gone through the process of adding flags or putting your clips in groups. But another option is if you go into the light box, it gives you a different view of all the clips in your timeline. If you have a lot of clips in your timeline, you can use the slider up here to fit more or less them in the window. And it makes it easier to select multiple clips. So now I could do the same thing with command or control selecting each of these clips here, and then center mouse clicking on this first clip, and you'll see that grade gets applied to all the other ones. I'll press command home to reset those grades. So the light box can be a great way to quickly get access to all of your clips and select them. And by the way, you can do all of that filtering I mentioned earlier right here in the light box by clicking up here to reveal this window where you can choose flat clips, marked clips, group clips, etc. I'll get out of the light box. So those are great, but there's actually a better way to handle this if you have multiple instances of the same clip and you want to grade them all simultaneously. And it's called using a remote grade. So what I'm going to do is right click on this first clip and by default we're using what are called local grades. You can see that right here. Local grades are specific to a specific clip in a specific timeline. I'm going to switch to using remote grades. When I select that, our grade disappears. So now we have no grade because this is a completely separate grade. It's a remote grade. We can tell because there's a little R in parentheses underneath all of our clips. I'll come to this little pink badge in a minute. Any grade I apply now will be applied to every clip that comes from that same source clip in this timeline and any other timeline in the project. So for example, if I just do a quick correction with curves on here, and let me link my RGB together, and I'll just do a quick balance adjustment and increase saturation a little bit, and you can see that my correction is affecting all of the clips that came from that same source clip all at once. I'll reset that. Let's say instead, I wanted to use the grade that I had on that local version. Well, at any time, you can always switch back to using local grades. So if I go back, there's our grade. I'll grab a still of that grade, which by the way, is another way you could apply that grade when you're working with local grades. But now, if I do go to remote grades, I have no grade applied, I don't need to go select all those clips with one of them selected, any one of them selected. In fact, let's go select this one over here instead. And I'll center click the scroll wheel, and that grade gets applied to every instance of that clip because they're from the same source clip. That's what this pink badge indicates. 
It means that every clip that has a pink badge is from the same source clip as the selected clip. Not only in this timeline, but in all timelines in this project. So even if I were to build a brand new timeline and use this clip from the media pool, if I switched that timeline to using remote grades, this grade would show up. Now you still have some flexibility because you may think, well, some of these clips may need to be adjusted. Let's stay on this last shot of her. The lighting's changed or somebody else is in the scene. I need to do something different. I'd like to modify this qualification. Well, any modifications I do while I'm in remote grades will affect all the grades. So for example, if I select the skin node and desaturate it, it will become desaturated in every clip. Let's say that's not what we want in this case. I'll undo that. What you can do is right click and you can choose to copy your remote grades to local. I'll select that. We're no longer in our remote grades. There's nothing underneath. And by the way, if you double click underneath these thumbnails, the name will rotate among the type of clip, the name of the clip, and then if it's blank, it means it's local or remote. And since there's nothing there, it's a local version. But now I've copied this grade to all my local versions and I can manipulate them each independently. Now if I desaturate the skin tones just in that skin node, only this one is affected and the other ones are not affected. So you can start off working with a remote grade and then copy those remote grades to local and then do individual adjustments as needed. Working with local and remote grades goes a lot deeper than this, but this should get you started thinking about how you could use remote grades in your own grading workflow. If you found today's tip helpful, check out our Warp Speed Grading Workflow tutorial at repletraining.com. For an in-depth look at color grading, you'll want to look at our Black Magic Certified Advanced Color Correction tutorial. And if you need an overview of all the pages in Resolve, check out Steve's excellent Core Training in Resolve 16 tutorial. We'll see you next time.